Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to... What is this? Not satisfactory. This is Factorio Space Age. And we have had our lunch since the last episode, <laughs> and worked a little bit on the base. I haven't done a ton. The main thing I did is I rerouted the scrap over here, so now we're mining it to this. And I set up a little doodad so that we split off of each line and start filling up a provider chest. And so those have all been hard at work, and it looks like the gear one is going to be full soon, which means our kill anything... What did we call it? Our crap removal... Um, crap removal system? No, that's not what we called it. I can't remember what we called it, but uh, this thing will destroy the gears once that's full. So that'll be good. And... Now we can start thinking about automating our blue belts. Because I did bring... I can't remember where we ended, but we brought the Hendrickson back with logistics bots. So now we have the logistics bots. So now I can actually automate... I don't know where we should do this. Maybe over here. But let's automate belts. Feels like a handy thing to have. Um, this is not going to work. We're going to need this. Super force build. Okay, I want the light to be visible, so that should be the norm. And now we should be able to do that. This is kind of, oops, kind of a pain to set up. I need to blueprint this because I bet I'm going to put this on other planets. I'm getting some Mass Effect vibes from this music. These lightning strikes are so loud. Oh, it's annoying. <laughs> I can't believe they made fish spoil. I'm actually going to F10 it. Lightning. Thunder. Sounds are extremely loud. I realize one of these sliders in the volume settings will reduce thunder volume. However, I don't know which one it is. Nor do I really want to change the EQ of the rest of the game. I specifically would like to control the lightning strike volume to be lower. It is insanely loud compared to everything else. And given how frequently it happens, it's not really fun for my ears. I can't even hear the awesome music. Maybe that'll get them to change it. Make a call to, like, well, you work so hard on the music. If you want your players to hear the music, you got to... You gotta do that. So we should just be able to grab uh, all the heavy oil we want. This is so weird. I can just pump heavy oil. This just feels wrong. This feels like cheating. Is this cheating? Is this what cheating feels like? I can just do this. <laughs> That's so weird. That's so weird to me. Oh my gosh, after however many years and years and years we've been processing oil, we could just... An, it's like an offshore pump of actual heavy oil. It's literally like water. So crazy. Wow. It's like my brain is like, isn't this cheating? This is cheating. How do we take advantage of this? 
Um, but that's kind of the point. That's the point. That's what they want you to feel. It's awesome. Am I out of efficiency modules? I need to set up efficiency module automation, I guess. Uh, I think I am. I guess we can just use full power and hope we've got enough. Let's let's hope we have enough power. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so we're going to need requester chests for each of these. I'm going to move those to where they make sense. And this is one of those let bots sort it out times. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm going to run out of space for outputs here. I guess I'm okay with this. What does that sound? The, is it the lubricant whooshing? Oh, it's the whooshing. Interesting. Yeah, we could build a giant oil tanker ship to take all the oil back, though it'd have to be barreled, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um... Get another bot thingy over here. And then I'm just going to right click and hope for the best. What's the worst that could happen? We'll fix the numbers if they're ridiculous. Uh, 76. That's a little high. I think 100 is fine. 50 is fine. Now green circuits, so let's let's start our first kind of figuring out of stuff. Um I'm gonna remove this. So green circuits. Let's go out into where we have some space. We're going to set up a recycling system where we recycle red circuits. And this is going to get us plastic, green circuits, and wire. I'm not going to need wire for much, but I I should at least keep it, right? I could even wrap it back around to here because we already have a wire belt. So this is our Fulgora bus. I don't know if you're supposed to do buses on Fulgora, but this is our Fulgora bus. And nah, maybe we should just use bots. Feels so much easier to use bots. <laughs> All right, so circuits, because we can also prioritize things really easily now using bots, and that's another reason to do it. So. Cable. Um. Okay. Now. I guess I didn't really turn this into a buffer, did I? The way that I did that. So I'm going to set all of these. Uh, that one I'll just let fill up. Though I want to have an easy number, so maybe we'll just fill it up to there. So it'll be 2,000. Um, and the reason I'm doing this... Wasn't that one almost full a minute ago? Oh, it just sent a billion gears to make... Uh, You could have three versions of a space platform. First one requests barrels, empties them into tanks, sends the empty barrel straight back down. Next one has tanks. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, any quality? I'm not going to deal with quality on this stuff because I don't... 
I don't think you get anything from quality belts, but maybe... Could be worth... I think I'll do a recycling loop separately. I don't think I want to work that into everything. I'm not ready to work it into everything. Just yet. Um... But why does this have a cable in it? Shouldn't be possible. Okay, I think we're good now. Um, anyway, that'll recycle red chips. <sighs> How do I do this? This is actually complicated. I'm thinking a lot of things. So, if... Like, do we want to stop recycling red chips if we have enough green chips? I assume the answer is yes. But then that means we're going to need to ditch excess plastic if we end up with excess plastic. And we're going to need to ditch excess cable if we end up with excess cable. So that means these both need to have output priorities to go into respective chests. Why am I building this so big? I don't know. Uh, but then these are just trash, potentially. And then we can send that back to the trash heap. This is gonna be such a spaghetti mess. I'll probably use bots in a lot of spaces, so it won't matter, but. But yeah, then those will those will eat everything. So this way this will back up when I have enough circuits. Green circuits. But I guess I can enable or disable the belts based on a certain condition. Because really, now that I think about it, these are what we want to recycle for, for green circuits. This is so weird. This is so weird. So I can enable this. Oh, and then I'm gonna need to sort out the red circuits. Yes, yes I will. Maybe I'll put those in an active provider. Maybe that's the trick. Active provide everything and then, and then use requ requesters with priorities on different amounts. This is honestly a bit brain-breaking. It's so different. Yeah, e even with all of my modded Factorio experience, like what we're trying to do and what we need to do, it's just so different how you approach all of it. Um, so basically, I only want this to run if... I hate that they're not called processing circuits. I think calling them processing units is confusing. Um, but let's say whenever I have more than a thousand, I'm fine to recycle them. So then we just dump them into here. And then here, whenever I have more than 2,000, we'll recycle those. And so then you're basically saying all of my excess blue chips and red chips get recycled into into scrap. And then we're active providing these but only if we need them, maybe. So this is for plastic. I guess I need a red circuit one too. Um, So 
So then I can do something like this. Where I say... I say, good sir. Um, we disable you. If I already have enough red circuits. But what is enough? I already get a lot of greens from recycling the reds and the blues, so I'm thinking I should keep my iron plates for something else. I'll probably, if anything, be recycling greens into iron plates. I guess that's yet to be determined as well. Like, what ratios of things do you need? It's just crazy to figure all this out. Because um, this is saying we recycle anything over 2,000 red circuits. So then if I let this run up to 2,500, it'll just recycle them again. But this is only recycling the ones we mine from the ground. <laughs> Thanks for the subs, Fiplet. Appreciated. The logic here should be based off of two things, making science and making rockets. Yeah, yeah. We definitely should look at what the science pack actually costs. It costs three new things and accumulators, so I don't even know what all of that is. Um, electrolyte is holmium, oil, and stone, so that's not that bad. And that's... okay. And super capacitors are a lot of green chips, a battery, a little bit of plastic, copper, and light oil. Okay. And it's made in the electromagnetic plant, which we still need to unlock. Oh dear, we need to make some holmium plates. Wow, wow, wow. Um, so basically this could give me up to an extra 500. But then that's going to start sending these to always be recycled, which is OK, because I have those extras. I think I'm actually OK with that triggering at 2000 and this flowing up to 2500. OK, so then for cable. go to 3,000 and then for plastic we'll go to 1,500 um wait was plastic not one of these no it's not okay interesting my brain's hurting I'm doing a brain hurt Really, right now, I just want to get belts automated. That's that's priority at the moment. So... I need to set up iron plate production, which is going to be something similar to this. But now we've got gears being the thing that we utilize to recycle. Oh, there's a cliff. I hate these cliffs. These are annoying cliffs. Um, yeah, this crappy red circuit is actually containing a legendary piece of plastic. <laughs> oh, it just sounds so wrong, Dave, when you say it like that. Alright, there's no reason to filter this. This can only ever give us iron plates. And this is only going to run if we have enough gears. So it won't use up our last gears. That feels so weird. We won't use up our last gears to make iron plates? That just sounds so wrong when I say it. 
Um, but shouldn't that be running then? Did I set that backwards? Yeah, I did. Oh no. Okay, we we had it right. It's just not in in range. The legendary plastic piece of your of yesteryear. All right, there we go. Okay, so there's iron plates, and then there's no point to recycling iron plates. So I should just put those in a box forever. But I can also stop doing that if I have enough iron plates. Which I will deem to be 3,000. One more zero. All right. So there we go. So now we've automated iron plates. We might also want to, however, set up this same area to recycle green chips. Right? So then instead of just iron, we could filter off the cable to the left like we did before. And then copy this bit. And then the cable might need to go get killed. But the iron wouldn't, because I'm not gonna... I guess we need to turn this off. We kind of need an and. The nice thing about anding is you can just do two in a row if we have not enough iron. This is, I, what I'm doing is a crime against something somewhere, but here we are. Um, and then finally, we have the green circuit part. And that only runs, no, cause that, that, no, 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 sorry. I should put this one here. So that way the iron condition... Ah! I want you to disconnect. There we go. That way the gear condition is only for gears. The iron condition is for both the circuits. And then this is the circuit condition that will only request... How does this work? I want to turn you off if the iron is at a certain amount. It is kind of annoying that you have to connect a requester chest all the way to a robo port. I will say that's annoying. Um, I don't love that. To do what we wanna do here. Because we wanna read the contents and disable based on the contents. My brain, my brain hurts. Uh, enable if circuits is greater than a thousand. So if we have more than a thousand circuits in the network, we'll start recycling them. <laughs> I'm sure, uh, given the mess that we've already made in about 20 minutes, I'm sure the number of solutions to this is uh, astounding for how many different ways there are to do it which makes it really fun. So my point is like, I bet pretty much what everyone's thinking at home is something different than what I just did. Um, these are already out of scrap. Also, these are pretty much useless now. I don't know how much energy we were actually getting there. I don't know if we needed the uh, steam engines or not, or if the accumulators are doing good enough. I should also set up crafting of accumulators. And that should be pretty easy.
Um, oh my gosh. So many things are going on right now. I, I haven't had my... I feel like all my neurons are firing and none of them are lining up in the same direction. <laughs> it's uh, certainly a vibe inside my head right now. Let's get some accumulators automated here. Orange cat simulator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so are we... So now it's a processing rate issue. Need more scrap. We need more processing of said scrap. Um, beacons. Beacons still exist. Thank God. This should help. Oh, I don't have any modules. I can handcraft tier ones at least. <laughs> oh man, this is nuts. This is so nuts. Crazy go nuts, university. I'm thankful for the beacon changes. It makes just having a few much more helpful. Oh, it's interesting. Even though there's nothing in this beacon, it is it is uh, having the negative effect of multiple beacons. So you don't want to have empty beacons. That's not helping. Okay, here's our deleting. Our deleting seems to be working, though a lot of them are running. I am a bit concerned about that. Uh, more than I wanted to be running. Let me grab some concrete. Oh, that should just be in my requests. Here, let's add a section. This is gonna be Fulgora requests. Now, will that... That's additional to what I had requested before. Not which one's higher. A delete anything machine is quite a bit simpler than a make anything machine, thankfully. Uh, also, Lodro, yes. I am not providing yellow belts everywhere they need. These both need yellow belts too. Okay, so there's blue belts automated. There's accumulators automated. Is any of it good? I don't know. I definitely need more accumulators. Now that I'm using some high power, high power stuff. Oh my gosh, we need a lot more accumulators. Keep going. Oop. Lightning danger. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so then I do still kind of want to fuel this stuff over here. It's still running on what we did before. Um, Because I'm just not doing anything else with the ice in the solid fuel, so it feels weird to not do that. So... I guess we just request ice and solid fuel here. Sure. Can you recycle ice? Ah, uh, let's find out. into more ice. Legendary ice. Let's go. I want programmable artillery that can destroy chests automatically. Alright. So... Why is it only showing 14 accumulators? Did we... Oh, these aren't connected? I disconnected these networks at some point. There we go. There's the proper amount of accumulators. Okay. And my lightning coverage is pretty good. What's what's our what's our uh, Fulgora? Twenty nine point three kilowatts per square meter. So that's a megawatt for every thirty square meters. Am I reading that right? So a megawatt for every three solar panels amount of space because these are twenty seven square meters. So basically, this amount of space is a megawatt. If that's true, then we have plenty of power. We just need more accumulators. Now, Kurza Zerdi, that is an interesting question. What does copper cable recycle into? I assume it recycles into the, the most basic recipe that one can make something with. Because there are other recipes, but don't all the new ones, aren't they just molten copper? So it would never recycle into a fluid. The real question is, what would it recycle into if there were multiple solids recipes? Uh, Dave, that's correct. You, you could bring... I could bring rocket fuel, and I could bring blue chips. <laughs> Though, why would I? <laughs> we they, we can literally print blue chips out of the ground here. Um, and what's the third thing? Oh, low density structure, aka another thing we're printing out of the ground. I think Fulgora is kind of nice because it's the easiest place to make rocket parts again and send send rockets back. Oh, they don't have multiple solid recipes for that reason. Okay. The only thing that's a little tricky is the water needed to crack heavy oil. Um. So yeah. That's the only thing. Okay, so let's now that now that we've kind of got power automated, which is just a mixture of lots of accumulators and lightning rods. Let's set up just for fun our first recycling loop because how could we not? So, if I want higher quality assemblers, Oh, I have zero quality modules here. Um, let me ship... Where's the Hendrickson at Fulgora? Ah, crap. 
Uh, you head over to Novus. I am good to just send it, right? Like, we travel safely now? I think so. So you go over to Novus, and then we'll pick up some quality two modules from Novus, and then we'll come back. Um, because here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we set up some... some accumulator crafting. Where is it? Ooh, boy. You'd think I could find buildings by now. There it is. And then... We'll make a rare crafter. Now, what actually happens? Can I select this? It's weird that I can select that. We haven't unlocked it yet. I assume just nothing will ever get upgraded to epic. Even if I was pumping rare things into the, into the loop. So then... We're gonna have the ingredients on a, on a thing. Oh boy, okay, 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 okay. No, no, no. Those are the normal ingredients. The normal ingredients come in. They do the thing. We may, I probably need multiples, by the way, of this, but we'll do four. So these are the chances to upgrade the literal... Do I have gears requested? I should probably do like 200. So I, I might get the actual accumulators themselves upgraded. So everything that comes out of here is an, an accumulator. An accumulator. That's actually really hard to say. And an, an, an accumulator. I see an enemy. So we're going to pull everything to the side. And we're going to filter them out. Anything that is greater than uncommon, it, I'll change that later, but at this point, that's just rares, gets captured. Everything else gets murdered. And when it gets murdered, it gets murdered with quality modules in it. So these are going to have quality modules. They'll murder all the accumulators that didn't make the cut. And then we'll have upgraded murdered accumulator parts. That sounds so violent. Um, and then... <laughs> parameterize it off the blueprint? No, no, no. Uh, we'll parameterize things that are actually good. <laughs> this is this is me just thinking, thinking out factory. It's like out loud, but with factory parts. So then we're going to have to sort out the various pieces. So here, anything will go left that's greater than normal. And then at that point, we can do some sort of filter. To the right. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Sorry. What am I doing? This needs to be back here. Super force build. And then, yeah, we need to, like, put those into a chest. Um, and then that needs to go to these buildings. Okay, because so, we need a buffer. Because things don't balance out perfectly with recycling. In the long run, a crate should be big enough. And then we need one of you, maybe here, to the right, for uncommon bits and bobs. Those go into a chest. Need even more space. Like this. And 
And then we need to do that a few more times. Uh, do I need different ingredients on different sides? For some reason I was thinking that wouldn't matter here. Um, it doesn't matter here, it does matter here. This is where it will break, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> shh, let him suffer. <laughs> um, yeah, because this will put all the normal ingredients in here, but then we're, this is a place where this is going to get clogged. Uh, these are going to work fine, he says, with some small amount of confidence. Uh, technically, this last one doesn't need to be filtered, but I just want to see the five pips of legendary in front of me. So we're going to do it anyway. Um, substation, substation. All right. So then that's going to go on the right side. This will go on the left side. That filters to battery. You filter to iron plate. So that, that, that should work. I mean, I have no idea how many recyclers I needed. Again, I don't feel like they've made it clear how long recycling recipes take. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's request quality module twos. Hundred and any uncommons that we may have. Will it tell me? On planet? Doesn't it normally say on planet when you're looking at these items? Am I, am I missing something? Oh, it's on the top half. Available on planet zero. Okay. Fine. Fine. Also, I'm just now realizing that it basically costs very little. Because it costs nothing to travel back and forth between planets. That's one of the big differences between this and space exploration. Right, is once you've got this set up, well now we don't actually have to pay tons and tons and tons of rocket fuel to send this over. It just kind of floats back and forth and it pays for itself. The ammo's free, the fuel is free. So all we're paying for is the actual rocket to launch items up to the platform. And we're not even paying to then put stuff down on the other side. So it's very cheap overall to, to move items between um, if you're just moving a few, right? Like, if you're moving thousands and thousands of items, that's gonna take a lot, a lot of, uh, rocket launches, but, but yeah, now I can just send this back over. Red Rover, Red Rover, send the S.I. Hendrickson right on over. I think the reason I like it is it is simple. Like, again, this is complicated stuff. The, the final solution is kind of, it feels a little bit maybe simplistic, but like, we've got five planets to get through. I'm glad this isn't that hard. I think if it was that much harder, it would, people wouldn't even get to the second planet, you know? So I do think they needed to make it simple. Now, since we haven't been doing much on Novus, although it is going to be spending some resources over here, um, why don't we also do a research for uranium ammo, because we can, another mining productivity, because we can, and another physical damage, because we can, and a laser damage, and a steel productivity. Let's just... Let's just queue it up and get Breaking Force done. 
there's two flaws you're seeing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at our pollution! It shrank down to nothing! Where's our pollution? What'd they do to my boy? Fighters aren't even attacking that are on the on the border. Hey, Sandra, thanks for the follow. Yeah, exactly. Like, a lot of people considered oil in vanilla to be a wall that they would either get to and then kind of peter out after they got to it, or they'd not even get to it. So, I, I do agree that, like, they needed to keep this pretty simplistic. I guess the bots were bringing me the accumulators first. Okay, so what what are all the problems that you think exist over here? Your supposed problems. Um. Oh, you want to be protected from lightning? Fine. What are the problems here? I see no problems. No, 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 don't tell me. You can wait until it breaks, and then you can tell me. Normal. Okay. Well, I guess problem one is we actually need resources. What's going on here? Why am I not getting iron? I don't have a thousand gears backed up. There. Oh. Our trashing has uh, reached a limit. I could trash batteries for iron too. I just realized that. Um. Hmm. So batteries... I'll do the same sort of thing here. Oh crap, I forgot batteries had <sighs> another resource. For some reason, I thought they were only iron plates and sulfuric acid. Alright, so I'll do it this way. This is so interesting. So many things to do. Um... I guess I also need this first, and then this. And then this is trash. Of course there's a cliff there. Of course. All right. Okay. So the trash stuff is needing some help with speed has a need for speed. And we did leave room for more recyclers on purpose. And get all those going. All right, Hendrickson is here. Send Quality modules down for me. Clifford, Clifford the Big Red Cliff, yes, is in the way. Um, wait, do I really already have enough copper plates? I think I did this one. Yeah, it needs to be output priority to the right. Geldock, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. We are working on. Recycling crap on Fulgora. So 
if you don't want to see Fulgora spoilers, you probably should head out. <laughs> but uh, glad everyone's here. Hope you're having a good day. The lightning towers do make power. Quite a lot of it, actually. You just need enough accumulators to catch it. Um, it took us like 30 hours, so I don't know about fast. Okay, so I'm just building up very large buffers is what's happening here. Maybe I should do more like 800 for this and 1200. We need some green chips. Oh man, what chaos. Yeah, see you later, Galdok. Thanks for the raid. Okay, that should speed things up a bit. Should also mean their power usage goes up a bit, so... I have no idea how that'll be going. All right, so what's stopping accumulator production? It is still iron plate problems. Um, I might, I might let this stuff back up. All oh, the splitters are gonna take a lot too. Let's see. I guess we just need to mine more scrap. That's easy enough. We have more. We have two more patches just right here, and then I can train train over the rest. Because you can't put belts on this, right? Yeah. So we do need trains, um, which is also interesting, which makes me remember to send down all the train-related stuff. else I need to send? I think so. Can trains get struck by lightning? Um, didn't think about that until you said it. Now I'm scared of it and I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. I do have a blueprint for this. Probably switch it with blue belts. Get a lightning rod up in here. You know, I do have iron plate production on Hendrix. That's not a bad idea. Before, we weren't making very much iron at all, but now we're actually making a reasonable amount because the medium asteroids still show up here. If we look at uh, the Fulgora... Fulgora to Nauvis, we there are some of the medium asteroids even at... So, all right, so there's, oh, this isn't using both sides of the belt. There we go. There's the scrap. Yummy, yummy, yummy. got to be like that. Uh, we 
need recyclers. Oh, and stack inserters. Sorry, bulk inserters. I didn't say it. You didn't hear me say it. It wasn't me. Um... Yeah, the whole Fulgora tech trees upside down thing where you just like... Like, I just have so many random low density structures I don't even need. I should probably go to a thousand. Not. Maybe two thousand. No! That was close. Alright, so. Here we go. Let's get. Substation. Snack inserters? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Donian, they used to they used to play it full volume. I think the problem is they're fine if it was once in a while, but when we're sitting here doing factory stuff and it's just like lightning's constantly hitting the attractors, it's still just really distractingly loud compared to normal factorio sounds. Like it's as loud as if biter if you were staring zoomed in at a bunch of gun turrets constantly shooting biters. It's like, it's that level of loudness, but the problem is it's in the middle of your factory when you're just doing a peaceful thing. So I think that's why I didn't like it. Um, okay, so all of that was just to, we're trying to get the blue belt stuff done so we can have enough iron for more accumulators. The problem is iron plates. So we're really trying to get iron plate production maxed out here. And eventually we're gonna have enough red circuits where we can request red circuits, which don't directly make plates, but they make green circuits. And then we're gonna recycle the green circuits here, which, oh, I never made a request for them. That's why we're not getting any. So we should now be getting green circuits to, why is that off? It doesn't have a setting, okay. This one shouldn't need a setting, because the requester has the setting. So that can just be a free build. I'm a free man! Alright. Now how many... We need four green circuits for one iron plate. That's kind of crazy. That makes one iron plate kind of expensive. <laughs> it's four green circuits. So that means one blue chip gives us one iron. Each one of these is only one iron, because it makes... It makes four... Wait, it only makes four circuits? It should make five circuits. Was it making five? It, it makes five circuits, never mind. It does make five circuits. And then five circuits makes 1.25 plates. That's really funny. Thanks, Donian. I appreciate it. Like, like right now. I just feel like compared to the rest of the factory, the lightning still stands out as being not an accent, but a main thing that I'm hearing. Um, and there was one point where the, I was trying to listen to the music and I couldn't even really hear the music because the lightning was striking. It's also possible that, uh, what am I trying to say? That the overall lightning sound should be lower because what if the player's near the edge of their lightning coverage? Then they're hearing full volume strikes, even though they're also just doing factory stuff. So that could be part of the problem too. And it would be annoying if to make the lightning not too loud, you had to like put, a tra well, you can't even put attractors out here. So yeah, I think maybe rather than being 40 and 100, it, the whole thing should be brought down, and it should be like 70, 100. I think that could help. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it sounded loud to me. That's all I know. I'm going to remove some of these because I don't think I need them right now. 
And I would like... Well, maybe I do. I don't know. It looks like our accumulators are running out. But the day-night cycle is pretty fast, so... Yeah, Riff and whoever was mentioning, like, the hard part of the planet is going to be water for cracking. I don't know yet how difficult that's going to be. It, it won't be until we start making rockets that we'll kind of see the ratios. I have plenty of ice for now. I have so much ice. In fact, we should probably be making more... Um, whatchamacallit. We could make more steam power. The planet should be called Misphonia. Uh, can you make iron from gears? Yes, we are making iron from gears. Only if we have enough gears, though. And the problem is we spent like all of our gears to make belts. Though, I do have that initial stockpile. We should probably just grab that. That'll speed things up a little bit here. And I can fill that up. And then also these red chips. Would be good. How many... The red circuits give on average back less than one green circuit. Uh, yeah, so anything that was smelted cannot be undone with a recycler. What happened to all my gears? Actually not sure. We had a thousand. Oh, never mind. We we still have all of them. I'm dumb. That was a passive provider, and that's where the one thousand were. And then I just turned it into an active, and now they're all floating in the air right here, waiting for a place to charge. Um. Okay. All right, so to roll the dice, we're going to need the quality modules. Which, where's my stupid rocket platform? There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Everything's got an 8% shot at upgrading. And then all we got to do is feed in accumulators or feed in the separate parts to the belt here. Um, and of course we're out of power because I don't have enough accumulators. So am I really rich enough to start rolling the dice on accumulators yet? Probably not. <laughs> The lightning sound is under game effects. Okay. See, this. the sad part, though, is I don't want to turn down most other things, right? And so it's like I'm scared. What else are we going to be muting um, if we're turning that down? But if it is driving me truly crazy, it's good to know I can turn it down. Spider, yes. I should also grind quality modules. I should do that, yes. I think recycling rocket fuel gives us... Oh, I don't have any rocket fuel. How would I know? Um, it probably gives us solid fuel. Couldn't promise anything, but... I'm just enjoying watching all this chaos. This is great. 
This is great. I I can't believe this game. And we still have... I mean, we're, we're not even close to done with Fulgora, you know? It's like, there's so much to do here. It's not as much as Nalvis, I will say that. Um, it certainly is like... You know, at least the three planets are each going to be smaller. You might spend more time on them depending on what it is you're doing, but the overall amount of stuff to do and amount of new technologies, it's not like each one is a whole Nalvis. It is also a hidden setting of explosions volume. Oh, now that might be helpful. That might be helpful. Okay, so at this point, if I want more, I need to speed up these guys again. something like this and now we've got each one is about four so that should be pretty much a full blue belt not quite Joshua we're about to start the accumulator dice rolling um, the blue belts are all saturated in the chests, so that should be done. And now it's just about uh, getting all the little buffers filled up, which it looks like... It looks like we finally did. So now we're actually going to have, you know, some accumulators here that we can start rolling the dice with. Now, obviously, this one's not rolling any dice. So what we should do is we should switch this to be... Two different requesters here. And we're gonna enable only if iron plate is greater. Yeah, okay, so I'm really bummed out that we have to connect to a robo port. I mean, in this case, there's a robo port close, but it's like, if you're not close to a robo port, you have to get a wire all the way over to a RoboPort to disable one of these based on uh, the network. And it would just be nice if you didn't have to connect a wire at all. Okay, so that's plates enabled if plates is greater than 200. And this is batteries. I should make a, uh, a parameterized thing of this. I don't have to do that every time. Yeah, Lodro, that's exactly what I was trying to say. I couldn't use the right words for it. It like an inserter can just sit here and read the logistic network contents, but a literal requester chest can't. That, that feels really weird. Like, I shouldn't have to connect a wire to it at all, I guess is kind of my my feel on that. Okay, here we go. We're rolling. They see me rolling. They hating. Uh, Cause I didn't have recyclers glyph. We just got to Fulgora. Can you make Fulgoras on any... Or Fulgoras. You can only craft recyclers on Fulgora. So, so I can't send recyclers back until we have rockets. Um, so... That is slightly problematic. Um, so let's also slow these down. Yep, 
if plates, iron plate, less than 200. We're going, we're going way too fast here. Okay. This is battery. Less than 200. Okay. So yeah, the recyclers are outputting onto one lane. That shouldn't be a problem because again, we're it, it's okay that everything's on one lane. So I, I don't think there's any issues there. I did see a few uncommon, yeah, a few uncommon items roll by. We made an actual one out of uncommon ingredients. Wow. Wow. Cool. Cool. So this will eventually give me rare, a bunch of rare accumulators is what this is doing. Now are rare accumulators that much better? Oh, they are. Okay, I'm actually really glad. Man, you know, I gotta give it to the Factorio devs. Normal normal game devs would be like, oh, we'll give the accumulators a 30% boost. And they'd think that's good enough. But it's really not, because it's... I don't even know the best way to phrase all of it, but, like, my gut is like, no, a 30% boost isn't anywhere near good enough for accumulators. That's actually not that much better. For a lot of things, a 30% boost is very significant, but for an accumulator, there's something you're building in the hundreds and thousands and 30% isn't as much as it sounds like. And so by, by doubling it, that's huge, right? And so these rare accumulators are each triple the energy capacity of a regular. And that actually feels like, oh, rare accumulators are worth it. That's actually a big deal. So, Hey, look, we got one. Yay. The rares can go up here in their own little field. Oh, he broke it. <laughs> uh, we do need more accumulators <laughs> on that note. It does also improve the charge rate. It's not by a lot, though. The charge rate is by 30% per tier. And the charge rate doesn't really matter because it's divided among all of these. So on Fulgora, the um, well, maybe one hundred and fifty. So wait, is that saying when a lightning strikes, it's producing one hundred and fifty megawatts? If so, that is. Five. That's 500 accumulators worth of, of rate, I think. So yeah, right now we're not even absorbing, we're not capable of absorbing even one lightning strike's full rate. If I was understanding that correctly. So... So we need 500, and then obviously that's 500 over the course of, I don't know how long. Um, but so if two lightning strikes happened at the same time, you would need then a thousand to absorb all of it. No con blim, that actually makes a lot of sense because lightning is a lot of energy at one time. And if you can't absorb all of it instantly, the rest gets lost into the ground. It's actually somewhat even realistic with how if you were to build such a thing in real life, it would work similarly. Or you would need to be able to flow a lot of energy into batteries very quickly, because if you couldn't, it would all get lost 
it it has to go somewhere. Um, how much better does the lightning rod get with quality? Um, your your standard thirty percent per tier. The range is not thirty percent. No, that's thirty percent per tier as well. And then the health, of course. Okay, Dave, are you still here? What what was it that was wrong with this build? <laughs> Did I fix it? Did I not? Uh, Conblim, that wouldn't help. Putting two next to each other, the lightning would just strike one or the other. It wouldn't, like, split am among the two. Uh, this build does not stop itself. No, this is this is an infinite. As long as I have enough plates and batteries, it will keep running. But what I really need to do is this. Um, we need to just build more regular accumulators <laughs> before. <laughs> Before we roll the dice this much. Because um, otherwise we're not going to have enough power to keep rolling the dice. So. That's the thing that we're doing right now. Yeah, so you can see the production peaks of the lightning rods has gone up as I've gotten more accumulators. So, it really is all about how many accumulators you have. And how quickly can they absorb the charge. Oh, really? Really? Jump! Jump with your little legs! Spacebar is doing nothing. Come on, man. Disappointed. All right, well, I think we're gonna have to call it an episode there for future YouTubians. It's, we're an hour and 18 minutes. If you're here live, stick around. We're gonna keep streaming for a little bit. But for those of you from the future, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next one.